Are you responsible for the healthy and productive operation of laboratories and other critical spaces? What if you could know the actual air quality in every space in your building or even every space on your campus in real time? Even more productive, what if out of these hundreds of lab rooms at any time you were told which ones to worry about? If you can dedicate only 90 seconds to my air acuity on a Monday morning or whenever, you'll immediately know out of all the rooms under your purview, which are the very few you should fix this week, 90 seconds. I suggest you can use this technology to greatly improve the productivity of your staff and to focus on the worst problem rooms. Here's how. Start your stopwatch right now. Log into myearcuity.com. You'll immediately come to this screen. You'll click on the IEQ category, and these are the parameters that your system is monitoring. You'll click on carbon dioxide. The system immediately scans the entire building and says which rooms ranked from worst to best, meaning dirtiest to cleanest, have exceeded the threshold value that I determine appropriate for carbon dioxide. The system says none. You have nothing to do this week on that. I'm going to go to my small particles, respiratory grade particles. It's going to scan the entire building. It's going to find four rooms that have exceeded, but the currencies are low enough that I'm not going to worry about those. Nothing to do. I'm going to click on my total VOCs as measured by a metal oxide sensor. I'm going to see that there's seven rooms that have exceeded. Out of all of them, these two I'm worried about. 20 occurrences and 12 occurrences over a week is a lot. Room 419A has the most. I'm now going to look at the raw data of 419A and see what I can determine from this. When I click on that, I see that there was an occurrence at 4 o'clock, at 4 o'clock, just before 4 o'clock, at and after 4 o'clock, and at 4 o'clock. Simple fix. I'm going to go to that room at 4 o'clock see exactly what is going on. What's the researcher doing? What's happening that's causing these events to get into the air and the space? I'm going to fix the problem at the source, not rely on the dilution ventilation to be the fix. Back to my dashboard. Back to my IQ. Look at my last parameter, my photoionization detector for total VOCs, scans the entire building. And I'm going to see one, two, three, four rooms that I'm worried about. Enough occurrences that I want to go take a look at. Interestingly, 419 and 419A are on that list as well. And there you go. 90 seconds. Stop the watch. Scanned every single building, every single room in my entire building. And I've determined out of all of them which ones need to be fixed this week.